In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They left the house at half past nine. In rain, or shine. The smallest one was Madeline. If you believe you must be big in order to be tough, then you should get to know me. I'll teach you other stuff. If you believe you must be big in order to be tough, then you should get to know her. She'll teach you other stuff. Is it? Is something wrong? No! No! The carnival! The gypsies! They are coming! Up and down and down and up, they hoped the wheel would never stop. Round and round, the children cried, Here, Miss Clement, just one more time. A sudden gust of wind, a bolt of lightning. <laughs> Even the rooster found it frightening. <laughs> the big wheel stopped. Miss Clavel lent a hand. How fortunate there was a taxi stand. Taxi! Taxi! Allons-y! Vite, vite! Hurry, little girls! Oh, wait! My teddy bear! Wait, Miss Clavel! Look, up here! We are stuck! Someone help us! Help! Help! Oh, the poor! Hurry, children! With your clothes, you will eat supper in bed. Mrs. Murphy brought the soup of the evening. It was half past nine. Then suddenly, Miss Clavel gasped. <gasps> Good heavens, where is Madeline? Ay, Dios mio, where is mi Pepito? Oh, Pepito, no one knows we are up here. This is no fun anymore. We must try to get down. Look! Maybe this will work. 
Madeline, you are going to try to climb down? We, oui, I must. No, I will go. No, see. Oh, Madeline, you always get to do the exciting things. Oh, all right, Pepito. I will be brave like you, Madeline. You are almost. It was downpouring more and more as he knocked on the gypsy's caravan door. Who is there? It is Pepito! Pinocchio? Go away! I do not like people with noses like breadsticks. Not Pinocchio, Pepito! Pepito? Why didn't you say so? What can I do for you? Please! Clementine? But she is lost and gone forever! Not Clementine! Madeline! Madeline? Why didn't you say so? We must get help! Smiley, Hunko, and Giorgio, come with me! Be quick! With the aid of the elephant, strong man, and clown, Madeline was safely taken down. Bravo, Monsieur Clown! Oh, merci! The gypsy mama gave them a meal, and they quickly ate with glee and zeal. Now finish up. We must send you home now, because our caravan is leaving tonight. Oh, gypsy mama, please do not make us go. Please, please. Sorry, children. If you come with us, your families will worry. Now you two go along home. Taxi! Taxi! Au revoir! <laughs> the big wheel was folded and the tent. They packed their wagons and away they went. For gypsies do not like to stay. They only come to go away. Slovakia, Slovakia, we're on the gypsy caravan. Hey, Slovakia, Slovakia, we're on the gypsy we here? I thought I sent you children home. That is true, Gypsy Mama. But we thought if you knew that we were quite grown up and... and... we are often on our own and our families won't mind if we stay with you for a while. Very well. You can stay for a little while. A while? Oh, merci, merci! But you will have to earn your keep. And you must write to your parents from the next town. Hooray! We can stay! We can be in the carnival! Yay! The night is filled with stars, goulash and guitars. I hear a tune, what can it be? It is a gypsy man. Slovakia, Slovakia, we're on 
na Gypsy Caravan. Hey, Slovaki, oh, Slovaki, hey, we're on the Gypsy A very little girl with a very big smile and the most charming red hair. Uh, come, ça. And a boy with a bad, um, I mean, a funny hat. We saw them last near the Ferris wheel. Come and show me where it was. <laughs> but, madame, there is no Ferris wheel. They are gone forever. Mi pobrecito Pepito. <laughs> <laughs> A bright new day. The sky was blue, the storm was gone, the world was new. This is the castle of Fountain Blue. Today, dear children, it belongs to you. How wonderful to float in a pool while other children go to school. Never to have to brush your teeth. And never have to go to sleep. But it wasn't all fun. It was hard work, too. There were acts to learn and tricks to do. Phew! Riding this horse is hard work. Even more difficult than riding Giorgio the elephant. Then Madeline said, Perhaps it is about time we sent dear Miss Clavel a line. Dear Miss Flavel, we are in a circus and feeling fine. Much love from Pepito and Madeline. The eleven little girls cried night and day because Madeline was still away. Poor Miss Clavel was a shadow of her former self with eleven girls instead of twelve. But she suddenly revived when the postal card arrived. Thank heaven the children are well. <gasps> but dear, oh dear, they've forgotten how to spell. She studied the postmark, and then, fast and faster, they rushed to the scene of the disaster. Meanwhile, at the circus so far from home, the gypsies were having problems of their own. All right, Leo, let us hear a loud roar. Oh, no! The lion he is sick! What will we do? We will have to get another lion. We will look in the forest. They returned with a squirrel and a bird that was blue. No, said the gypsy mama, these will not do. Madeline, Pepito, please do come here. I suddenly had the most brilliant idea. How would you like to try on this lovely lion costume? A lion? But why? We run a little circus, a lovely little circus, and we can't let the touch of lion food ruin our day. When the elephants get pleased, we cannot shut our tents down, even if they start to sneeze. The show must go on, the show must go on. We can't desert the ship when the lion gets the grip. Hey! And in our joyful circus, if this strong man takes a fall, we'll still be out there singing. Come in, come on. Hey! 
With a curved needle and some string, the gypsy sewed the children in. Fini! Bon pepito, left, no right. Take a bigger step. <laughs> and nobody knew what was inside that tough old lion's leathery hide. Bonjour, Monsieur Lion Tamer. What trick shall we do today? You may call us Madelito or Pepito Line. Bon, Madelito, uh, Pepito Line. <clears throat> First, we will jump through this hoop. <sighs> no, no, no. You must do better. Higher! Try it lower. Lower! Now, bite my head. Bite your head? That's right. Bite my head. Excellent! And after doing that, he's fed. And after that, he's put to bed. Good morning, front. Good morning, back. <laughs> It was a lovely dawn, and all was well. So the lion roamed through wood and dell. He smelled sweet flowers. Then he came to a farm. He frightened the barnyard, intending no harm. Oh, this is getting hot. Very hot. I'm tired of being a lion. I'm tired of being a gypsy. I want to go. Home. home, home, I want to go home, 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 I want to go home. I'm homesick for Paris, I'm homesick for Vines, I miss all my friends in those two straight lines. I'm homesick for Papa, I'm homesick for Mom. got to the tent in time for the show. It's cute! Pepito, look! There, in the first row. There are people we know. Oh, dear Miss Clavel, at last we found you. Please let us put our arms around you. A talking lion. It is talking. That voice sounds familiar. But it is us, Miss Clavel, Madeline and Pepito. Oh. Madeline. Oh, oh Pepito. It is you. <laughs> their circus adventure was at an end, and they said goodbye to their new friends. Au revoir, Lion. Goodbye, Gypsy Mama. We will ride. <laughs> Such wonderful children! <laughs> Thank you for taking such good care of them, madame. Adios, Hanko! The strong man suddenly felt weak, and tears were running down his cheek. Goodbye, Smiley! Even the poor clown had to cry as the time came to say goodbye.
The best part of a voyage, by plane, by ship, or train, is when the trip is over and you are home again. From now on, Madeline, we will have our adventures together, n'est-ce pas? Si, si, you must promise you will not do something like this ever again. We promise, we promise. Good night, front. Good night, back. <laughs> then in two straight lines, they broke their bread. We love our bread. We love our bread. brushed their teeth, and went to bed. Good night, little girls. Thank the Lord you are well. And now please go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And then she came back, just to count them once more. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. Thank you.